Have you ever shot an overexposed photo and you're really struggling to retrieve that information found in the highlights? Well, let's fix that in Lightroom. And I'm gonna start right now. Now, by accidentally overexposing your photo is something that every photographer will suffer from, especially if you're shooting in either aperture or shutter priority. And it's all to do with your camera's metering settings. That's how your camera interprets how bright or how dark your scene is. And it really depends on the environment you're shooting in. Sometimes if you're shooting at the snow or sometimes you're shooting at the beach, everything just seems very bright and your camera will naturally overexpose your photo. But that's something we can easily fix in Lightroom. This photo here, as you can see, is quite overexposed. So how can we fix this? All we need to do is go over to your develop panel. Then we wanna do is drop down to your basics panel. Inside here, what we're gonna do is firstly affect our exposure. We're gonna go ahead and drop that down by around about half a stop. Then what we're gonna do is go to our highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. With our highlights, we're gonna drop that down until we've got enough information retrieved in the highlights. We're also gonna bring down the shadows as well. Now with our whites, we don't wanna bring it down because otherwise it makes the photo look quite gray. So what I recommend doing is go to our highlights and bringing those up slightly. And then with our blacks, we'll also bring that down by increasing the amount of dynamic range found in our image. All you'll need to do now is just simply go back to your exposure and balance that for the right amount that you want in your image. And lastly, if you do over or under expose your image, sometimes it's lacking in saturation. So we can fix that by simply going to a vibrance and saturation slider and increasing that accordingly. As you can see, that was quite undersaturated. So what I'm gonna do is just increase the saturation a little bit in our image. Vibrance, I'm gonna set at 30% and saturation, I'm going to set at five. And there we go, guys. That's how you can successfully retrieve a lot of that information found in the highlights by simply changing a couple sliders in Lightroom. Here is the before and here is the after. And make sure to write it down in the comments below if this particular tutorial helped you out.